Summary of the movie Cellular In the first scene of the movie, Jessica Martin happily talks to her son Ricky Martin as she walks him to his school bus and she tells him that he has a soccer practice and she will pick him up after class then he, he got in his bus and Ricky waved to say goodbye to his mother at their house Jessica was greeted by her housekeeper and said that someone called and left a message while she was taking a bath suddenly three men entered their house and killed her housekeeper the leader of the kidnappers Ethan Lear ordered one of his companions to search the entire house and he told to another one to put Jessica in the van then the kidnappers put her in an attic and Ethan broke the phone and left but when the kidnapper left Jessica she managed to use the words of the broken phone to contact a random number in the second scene you can see Ryan Ackerman walking on the pier talking to his friend Chad who's using Ryan's cell phone to record some girls in a bikini Ryan saw his ex-girlfriend Chloe who dumped him and he was hoping to get back with her so he offers to to help with the fundraiser being held there he gets Chad to hand out the flyers until he returned with the t-shirts on his way Ryan gets a call on his cell phone from Jessica who tells him she's been kidnapped and the phone she was using is shattered even though Ryan thought Jessica's call was a prank prank call Jessica still managed to get him to go to the police station where he reports it to sergeant Bob Mooney a fight between the officers and the gang members breaks out Mooney intervenes and tell him to report the kidnapping on the fourth floor however Ryan can find anyone on the way up and will lose the call due to poor cell service if he continues up Ethan asks Jessica for Craig's location where she refuses to cooperate and he leaves to get Ricky Ryan hears them and he realizes the kidnapping was real and Jessica tells to Ryan to hurry to go to Ricky's school and he was late to get Ricky because the student came out at the same time only to see the boy being kidnapped so Ryan hijacked a security officer's car and he tried to chase them but he loses them as his phone battery is running low he went to a cellular store but no one paid attention and helped him even though he said there was an emergency so he takes a gun in the car use it uses it to buy a charger because um sergeant mooney seems uneasy checking on the kidnapping claim he visits jessica's place and meets dana bay back the kidnapper's sole female accomplice posing as jessica leading him to believe it is a false alarm ethan returns and asks jessica where craig is hiding jessica fearing the kidnappers will kill them all once craig is found and attacks him but she is being overpowered and she confesses that he's at a bar at LAX before he departs a woman playing loud music in her car in her car pulls up next to Ryan but Ryan managed it to silence his phone before Ethan realizes that Jessica got a chance to call for help while Ryan is on his way to LAX a cross connection happened between cell lines forces Ryan to take a nearby lawyer's car and his cell to maintain the connection at the airport Ryan plants the gun on one of the kidnappers kidnappers triggered the, triggering the alarm when the security intervenes they show they are police officers for the LAPD and Ryan was surprised because the kidnappers were police and Ryan took a man to the restroom and gave his phone there because he thought it was Craig but it's it is not Craig because Ethan already got the real Craig meanwhile Mooney sees a news flash 
of Craig holding up a store for the charger and the car and the phone jacking and he calls Jessica's house realizing the voice on the answer machine is different from the woman he met earlier. The kidnappers escort Craig to his bank safe deposit box to retrieve a bug but Ryan intercepts it. While Ethan chases him, he drops and breaks the lawyer's phone. When he opens Craig's bag, he sees a video camera with a disturbing video of LAPD detectives Ethan, Mad Dog, Dimitri, Dana Bayback, Dyson, and Mooney's friend Jack Tanner, Robbie, torturing and murdering two drug dealers and exposing them as dirty cops. Ryan steals the lawyer's car again from the police impound and finds his own cell phone he left in the seat. Mooney returns to, Mar to the Martins to verify something where he kills Payback in self-defense when she fires at him. Raising his neck, his friend Tanner Pulls up hearing of the shootout acting as a concern friend. concerned friend. Back at the safe house, Mad Dog realizes Jessica has been has been using the line line seeking help. He attempts to kill kill her, but she nicks his brachial artery, causing him to bleed to death in seconds. Turner tells Ethan of Bayback's death and the forensic teams at the Martins house looking for evidence before Jessica and Ricky can escape they are caught by Ethan's gang but Ryan contacts Ethan before he can hurt them and makes a deal the videotape in exchange for the Martin families at the Santa Monica Pier at the pier Ryan disguised and refused to give up the camera until the Martins are freed, but Mooney and Tanner find him when Chloe inadvertently exposes him. Tanner sends Mooney away with Dimitri for medical attention, abducts Ryan, bringing him to Ethan. He crushes the bitch. For the movie review, this was a great movie. It was an action pack with a good story. It exposed some of the possible twists that may exist in reality. The movie was unbelievable at times and cliche at others. It doesn't really bring anything new to the genre and even if it's to save the life of somebody else, it doesn't give you the right things to do illegal things. Fortunately, for the movie, the acting was good, the action sequence were well made and it was entertaining at the best. This is the one of the best trailers I have seen in this decade. On top of the performance being good, you are really on the edge of your seat the whole time. You really don't see anything coming. From beginning to end, you are entertained. And you guess what will happen next? Our topic is all about vision. From the movie Cellular, you can absolutely predict what is the connection between the two. Vision is what we see from the eyes and bring, brings it to our brain. In the movie, when Ryan got a random call number, it was Jessica, the one who called him. Jessica was kidnapped by a bad guy. And she explained what happened, what was happening to her, and what things that she could tell to Ryan so that he could visualize what was happening to her. And in this situation, it's good to able to share what to see and what happening to you so that the person you're talking on the cellular, you can he can imagine what happening to you. Vision. The eye is the major sensory organ involved in vision. 
Light waves are transmitted across the cornea and enter the eye through pupil. The cornea is a transparent covering over the eye. It serves as a barrier between the inner eye and the outside world, and it is involved in focusing light waves that enter the eye. These are the two types of photoceptors in the human retina, rods and cones. Rods or scotopic vision. Rods or scotopic vision are responsible for vision at low light levels, sees the colors and the sharpness of the objects. They are concentrated in the outer areas of the retina and gives us peripheral vision. Rods are 500 to 1000 times more sensitive to light than cones. Conserpat Conserpatopic vision. Conserpatopic vision is the lights that enters your eye and stimulates the consoles when you look at an object. Your brain interprets the signals from the consoles to help you determine the color of the object. The cones are capable of color vision and are responsible for high spatial acuity. The central phobia is populated exclusively by cones and the red, green, and blue cones work together to create the color spectrum. Why it's important in psychology study about vision. The visual system contracts a mental representation of the world around us. That contributes to our ability to successfully navigate through physical space and interact with important individuals and objects in our environment. Vision. There are many parts of our eye and brain that come together to allow us to see. This makes up our vision. Vision is the sense of sight in which our eye is the receptor and the stimulus is radiant energy in the visible spectrum. The visual system constructs a mental representation of the world around us. This con contributes to our ability to successfully navigate through physical space and interact with important individuals and objects in our environments. In the movie Cellular, well, the movie Cellular, Cellular is a 2004 American action thriller film where a biology teacher named Jessica Martin lives with her husband Craig. Our lesson topic is vision. It's all about visual problems and something into color vision. The other lesson topic is color theories. The theory of color vision holds that there are three types of cones, each most sensitive to either red, green, or blue. Other colors result from combination of these three. The trigonometric theory, the component process, and after image. The movie Cellular stands phone booth a science biology teacher, Jessica Martin, who is kidnapped by violent dirty cops and held prisoner in an attic. The attic has a wall phone which a kidnapper smashed to bits until Miss Jessica was able to manage and fix the other parts and connect the wires to make a call in random. When Mr. Ryan received the call, he thinks it is prank or something joke. So that when Ryan, he realized and figured out this is real, he immediately goes to Rick's school to rescue them before the kidnapper in. He asks first to Miss Jessica what names of your child, what does he look like, what color of his hair and clothes. Miss Jessica said it was blue polo and khaki pants. Also in other scene in which Mr. Ryan looking for his husband. He asked what color of leather jacket and pants, so that case, after image, is visual sensation that persists after the stimulus is removed like, like seeing the son of the whole body before going to, to the school bus. In 
conclusion, the eye is very important because this is the organ of our vision. Not all people have a perfect vision. Some of us are nearsighted, farsighted, and also have astigmatism that is commonly a problem in our eyes. Numerous components in our eye and brain work together to give you vision. These components are retina, lens, and optic nerve. Each component turns light and electrical signal into visible images. Your vision helps you to see the things around you. In the movie Cellular, Ryan becomes the eye of Jessica to escape by using a call. That is the example of our topic that we are discussing. And that's all. Thank you for watching.